Am I the asshole? For deferring an issue with a female Muslim student to a female colleague? I and my wife moved to our area seven years ago for my wife to pursue a job opportunity where the population happened to be exclusively white. In the last couple years or so, we've had an increase in the non-white population, including the first Muslim students I've had since before moving here I grew up in an ethnically diverse area, so not being surrounded by multicultural people and restaurants has been an adjustment. X200B I teach high school science, and my two Muslim students are cousins I'll call Amira and Nadia fake names. I'm not well versed in religion, since my area of expertise is sciences, but I'd like to think I have some basic knowledge of major religions. X200B X200B I got home at 3.30, but at 6 p.m. I got a call from my principal, Mrs. Waters, outside of working hours telling me that Mrs. Smith have complained about my unprofessional conduct regarding Nadia and that I am expected to attend a meeting on Monday with her, Mrs. Smith, Nadia and her parents to discuss what should be done about my actions. I asked what I had done wrong she refused to elaborate beyond unprofessional conduct. I told her I expected my in-building union representative to be present at the meeting, or I would not go, and she said she would email our building rep. X200B I feel ambushed. I don't know even know what I did wrong, and I'm not going to lie, I'm really upset and anxious right now. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. You were being considerate and meant well. The only person who can tell you if you overreacted is Nadia. I definitely would say that the other teacher overreacted. I'd suggest talking to your union rep ASAP, they may be able to ease your anxiety. You're not the asshole. Your intentions were good. But next time, ask a female student and don't disrupt another class. I bet Nadia's parents will appreciate that you were trying to be respectful. I'm on the fence about this one. As a Muslim woman who wears hijab, I would have been mortified as a teenager if a teacher interrupted two classes and had me pulled out of class over a few hairs, distressed face, especially if I was potentially feeling self-conscious about being different already and who knows what tone the female teacher used with her. But on the other hand, I feel you came from a place of respect so maybe not the asshole. I hope your meeting goes fine and this misunderstanding is fixed. For future reference, just ignore it next time. She would have adjusted it eventually or not if she didn't watch. I just want to add that there are lots of white Muslims. The way the situation is described it sounds like Muslim non-white. Not that I guess I don't understand why you felt the need to notify her. From what I understand not everyone wears hijab in the same way or with the same strictness or adherence. I don't think it's appropriate for a teacher to involve themselves in a student's religious practice. I feel like it would be best to just pretend not to notice and continue teaching. I think you meant very well but it does seem a bit intrusive to make assumptions about how she chooses to veil. Every non-Muslim commenter is an asshole because holy shit y'all are not nearly as respectful of this girl's religious beliefs as OP was. Added for people getting their feelings hurt referring to all the people preaching on behalf of Muslim women while being completely, utterly wrong about what they generally want and appreciate. But the comments are blessedly shifting. Just to throw this in there, I find it really easy to imagine how the student felt singled out. A mixture of being given no say in the matter and getting the spotlight put on her without asking for it. Not the asshole. I think what you did was considerate. As a Muslim girl myself, I wouldn't mind a male teacher pointing out to me that my hijab slipped, but I'd also be appreciative that he asked a female teacher to approach me. Please update us after the meeting. Let us know what happened please. Not the asshole. I happen to wear a hijab myself and I understand why you did what you did. It was actually really sweet that you were trying so hard to be respectful. Do yourself a huge favor. Just each. Don't worry if you see a hair, or if they even take it off, a few do because they don't want to wear them. And school is the only place they can do it. Don't stare, it's just hair. It's just a scarf. Just treat her like the rest of the students. She's not a magical creature, she wasn't bothered by the hair, neither should you. I don't understand why you felt the need to do anything re Nadia. Yes. Not your business to draw attention to Nadia or any student's attire. If she wanted to be excused, she'd ask. Maybe it didn't bother her, is he the hijab enforcement protector? Does he watch out for Jewish students and bacon consumption? Not the asshole and as a Muslim I would not have been offended. Do I think you overreacted? Yes, but I think it's because you're new to the diverse population moving in but your heart is in the right place. Your co-worker on the other hand could have just spoken to you instead of going higher up. 
Ob, please update on Monday. I don't think you're an asshole. Your heart was in the right place. However, the safe choice have been to just leave the issue alone and let the girl deal with her hijab. The girl is in HS, not kindergarten. Unless her hair issue was somehow disrupting the class, her maintaining her own cultural and religious headwear seems like entirely her problem. Not the asshole but your reaction was weird. Panicked? Lamau lots of virtue signaling didn't get you the reaction you wanted. Added seeing a lot of apologists in this thread who think hijabis are incapable of making decisions for themselves? Strange. Not the asshole. I can't imagine a scenario where Nadia's parents wouldn't respect that her teacher tried to do the right thing by their religious edicts and find a female to help adjust her head covering. Even if it's NBD to Nadia. Having lived and worked in the Middle East for some time I am going with not the asshole. Good intentions, bad judgment. Individuals who practice Islam, like Catholics, Christians, etc. all practice their faith and adhere to its teachings in various degrees. Without out asking how devout a follower of Islam they are, which would be rude, I feel like I paired on the side of caution without the intent to disrupt or embarrass the student. ESH except Nadia. Everybody else overreacted to their own part in this story. Why on earth did you panic? I'm sure Nadia is perfectly capable of fixing her own hijab in the bathroom mirror. Why on earth did you need to involve another teacher? No but update us please. You're the asshole I almost have to believe this is satire. There is no reasonable excuse to disrupt two classes over something like this. She would have figured out the issue and, given there isn't anything to smite her for this anyway, would have survived the experience fully unscathed. Everyone who is clamoring to congratulate this, WTF? Not the asshole. You were considerate. Your colleague sounds ignorant. Not the asshole. Former teacher here. I would not be upset in this situation. I've been asked numerous times to approach female identifying students with sensitive topics to prevent embarrassment on behalf of the student. I would definitely place this under that umbrella. What a drama out of nothing at all. Christ on a bike. Sletuta. The kids are in high school. She can fix her hijab herself. No additional teacher or friend needed. Your options were to tell the child, or say nothing. Not to disrupt someone else's class. Other teacher is a huge asshole though. You're the asshole. You were not respectful of her belief, you were enforcing a rule that's not school related. You are a man who sent a girl out of the classroom because you panicked about seeing a strand of hair. Then proceed to annoy and interrupt another woman to force her to do something she didn't want to. And now she has to attend a reunion about her hair. If the parents are even a little bit conservative they will give her shit about it. Mind your own business she is old enough to evaluate this kind of situation. Absolutely not the asshole. You are actually showing respect for your student's culture. The female teacher is who is causing you the problem. I bet she is a hoot at parties. You're the asshole. You are not Nadia's keeper. It is not your job to ensure her head covering is sitting right, her bra straps are not showing, whatever. It is creepy and completely inappropriate for you, a male teacher to make this into a huge deal instead of just letting her discover that she needed to make an adjustment herself and then make it. You created a huge amount of focus on this which I'm sure was very stressful and embarrassing for her. You aren't the Muslim police. Tell us how it goes. Not the asshole. You handled this in what you believe was the most respectful manner given the circumstances. I think it may be time for the school to be educated on different cultures and religions, and that includes the staff. Not the asshole. You were being considerate. Edit your colleague on the other hand I would be careful around get from here on out. Not the asshole you need to find out exactly what you are being accused of, and get it in writing. Having lived in a Muslim country, what you did was appropriate. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I do think you may have overreacted though. I would ask Nadia and her parents what they would like you to do if it happens again. Not every Muslim woman or girl is super worried about some hair showing for a short period. Your colleague's reaction need to be explored though. Was she annoyed at the disruption or is she prejudiced against Muslims? 100 not the asshole not the asshole at all you seem like a great teacher something sounds fishy here thoughtful face we aren't getting the whole story not the asshole you were respectful of a religion and just asked help in the other class in my school was common for male and female teacher to ask each other help depending on the situation not the asshole i would cross post this to our teachers to get their perspective not the asshole you are doing your best to be respectful. 
if there was an issue, considering all things, it's nothing a private conversation couldn't fix. Brining and superiors and union reps? Overreaction on the other teacher and principal's part. Not the asshole. I'm confused why you're in trouble. Not the asshole. Advice you must also contact your union rep. Don't depend on your principal to do the right thing. And if you go into the meeting and the union rep is not there, exit the meeting. Don't go into that meeting without your union rep. Really hoping for an update on Monday. I was a teacher and also think like others have commented the student definitely said something probably to their parents who then called the principal. They wouldn't be bringing in parents if it were just the other teacher. Not the asshole. You did the right thing in recognizing the sensitivities involved in this. If this continues to be a problem, I would contact the girl's father and advise him of the situation. I guarantee you he will be happy with your actions and will give the principal a bit of an education. Not the asshole. Not sure what's going on here. Though I do think it might have been more appropriate to ask Nadia if she wanted to fix her hijab. Different people observe different degrees of strictness in covering their hair, and it may have been a case where this wasn't actually an issue for Nadia. Not the asshole. As a hijab-wearing woman, I'm always thankful to people who point out that my hair has slipped out. You are respectful and considerate. But just so you know, you don't have to be so hard on yourself and panic if the hijabi woman you are talking to has her hijab messed up. It's our fault lol, not yours. And you don't have to tell her. She'll probably find out soon. Most hijabis have a habit of checking their hijabs every now and then. You're the asshole, you interrupted another class for a ridiculous reason. Would it have been too hard just to ignore it? You're the asshole. Her headscarf was none of your business. She would have eventually figured it out and fixed it. You disrupted two classrooms to address a student's clothing that didn't violate the school dress code. You used poor judgment in this situation and were unprofessional. I am shocked by the not the asshole votes.